So, what the scripture says, let me just get it. Let me just get it. Let me just get it. Good. Revelation 8, 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Yeah, according to your works. Damn yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, that's just fair. Evil works. That's balance. Damn yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. a balance. Damn yeah, right. You can't just be out here robbing people all day long and you get all surprised when someone robs you. You know what I mean? Right, right. Oh, you ain't lying, man. Yeah, I see that sometimes. People will be showing all the time, like, you know, madness, they get robbed. <laughs> right, right. So, right. what do you think is going to happen to fucking Esau? Mm -hmm. Put the whole world in slavery? Mm -hmm. Invaded all these nations? Right. Now you gonna get invaded. Now you gonna get destroyed and enslaved. Yeah, think about Jake though. That's doing all the wicked. Jake, fuck yep. these Esau is just supposed yeah. to be the devil. Yep. But Jake, man. Shh. Now you see, we see Michael Jordan invested in the prisons, but what else could he be possibly doing behind the scenes that we will not see? He's doing all kind of shit. You know what I mean? Yep. He's already a gambler betting on his own team. Killed his own hey, daddy. Yeah, killed his murdered. own dad. He's already a murderer. Probably, yeah, they, a lot of people, it's conspiracy. You know, what it, you know it's true. Yeah. You know it's Cause true. Because that's weird, because all, like when Obama became president, right right before he got in, uh, inaugurated, what, his grandma died? <laughs> that other bitch, uh, all kind of people's family died. Jennifer Hudson. Yeah, that's that bitch. Jennifer Hudson. That was her favorite one. Oh, she killed all the Yeah, she folks. killed everybody. <laughs> Only the black woman. She got uh, multiple John Travolta. Uh, man, we could yes, keep. Yes, I ain't looked at that thing yep, in a minute. Yes, There's son. a lot of them, though. Yep, it's a whole lot. Sylvester of them. Stallone. Sylvester uh, Stallone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the list goes on. And, and they're on. all part of like weird cults, like Scientology, Freemasons. Oh, did y'all see that video I uploaded about the Freemasons? Get on that channel, Kings of the Earth, on YouTube. And I uploaded this video. It's an actual Freemason ceremony. I think it took place in the UK or something. And, and, and they go into the whole history of Freemasonry. And they're like, oh, we are your presidents. We are your actors. We are your musicians. We, you know, we, we have, they, they said we have created the, your culture. No, it's, the act, it, it's like the, it was the most epic gathering of Freemasons I've ever seen. It was gigantic. Oh, it was. It was fucking bonkers. It was fucking fire. It's fucking crazy. Go watch that shit. It's about a half hour long. That's what I be saying, man, a lot of times, man. This devil's just so proud, he actually put it on video and released the shit. That was crazy. Because ain't nobody, we ain't got no power to do shit about it, man. And then people still won't believe it. You saw in the video, actual Freemasons, the actual, you know what I mean? It's on TV. Oh, uh, no, that's just the internet. But y'all need, you know, people just need to get slapped for that, man. What you say about America? They call me that. Which? No, Yep. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, Isaiah 47. 47. Just real quick, just, uh, just going back to uh, you said uh, hoping for peace to go off. Just uh, Habakkuk 2 and uh, uh, 15. It says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor a drink, that putteth that bottle to him, and maketh him drink and drunken, also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Ooh, that's scandalous. Yeah. But I witnessed that shit. I actually witnessed that actual scripture in real life, man. Get somebody drugged up and get them drunk. Man, that's something you can ask evil people in this world, man. Got them off, they, these niggas actually got the nigga fucked up and cracking everything and had him standing right out in the front yard looking at the dancing, you know? I mean, why would you, what's in your mind that you want to see a man dance naked in the first That's time fucking place? baggage shit. Right, exactly. It's I could never shit. take advantage of a woman who's all drunk and passed out like that, you know? I've been around that multiple times when I was young. Be at a party, bitch puking, pass out. Motherfuckers over there trying to slide up there. You know what I mean? Sharing the bitch. Like, goddamn. Taking turns and shit. Why won't you help the bitch? Goddamn. Yeah, she knocked out his turns. Yeah, that's too much, man. Taking fucking turns. Yeah, they'll take turns. Or though. at the same time. That's fucking nasty. Hey, they gotta get put to death, man. Absolutely put to death. I got that Isaiah 47 and. Oh. That's why like Esau was like, we naked right now, you know? Yeah, we're drunk. And we're drunk. He's fucking with He's taking advantage of it. Taking a, he take, well, he, he's part of the reason why we ignorant. But he's taking advantage of our people's ignorance and stupidity, you know? Take advantage. They put the, make the woman rule over us. Put the drugs, put the alcohol on the streets. Yep, the drugs. Make it easy accessible. 
Yeah. What do you expect, people? You give us alcohol, we're gonna drink that shit, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's all, yeah, them liquor stores is only in the hood. Hey, I, the liquor store was open. Oh, yes, I ran into your boy yesterday. Yeah. Thug love. Oh, yeah. Thug love. I miss y'all, man. What's going on, man? Huh? What? Well, Time here. to come out? Yeah, of course, you know. You gotta do the work, bro. I already told you, man. I already know you're not anyway. Right. I'm gonna tell you, you know what? I'm not supposed to work. I know you're not anyway. Thug love. Thug love crazy, man. It's <laughs> crazy as fuck. Oh shit. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> no, no, he got a taste though. He got a taste of this. Well, that's, his, that, that, that's the ones that's gonna get the biggest ass with The ones that got a little taste of this doing this work. He can't stop doing his work. Oh man. I saw I saw uh, uh, Leonard too. Leonard? Yeah. He's terrified of me. Yeah, so. Leonard crazy. He won't come nowhere near me now. <laughs> he must have got a bad hit of acid or something. He was doing something. He's bugged the fuck out. Was he talking normal? Yeah. Was he? Good, you remember that day he ran away from me? He Talk said he, beard, beard phobia he had beardophobia. Yeah. No, he, he, you know, you I looked there? that up too. That's real too. He but actually, he actually got scared of it. He don't have it. He probably just heard about it. And now he's, He might have been high that day. Yeah, he probably was some sick shit. Yeah. He would do, he is into some weird shit. I remember we met old Leonard, he was all talking about how Glenn Beck was saving America back in 2010. Like Glenn Beck was saving America. Sure was. Glenn Beck is full of shit. <laughs> I remember Leonard always took off on that white dude that was in the wheelchair. Yep, uh, Colonel Sanders. Yep, yep. Take off whenever he came around. Either owed him money or he was fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe in both. I honestly believe something has to be in both of that shit. These niggas is freaky as fuck out They're here. They're nasty, man. man. Right, right. If, you, if you're a two third, you are a nasty freaking motherfucker, man. There is no limit. <laughs> there is no limit, man. I can't. I mean, but like we going into that, they fought. They fell apart. <laughs> they fell trapped to that um, America's witchcraft and sorcery. You know, using sorcery, man. You you get people to do stupid shit. You get them to accept. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shame to speak of them things that are done in secret. And them tattoos, that's witchcraft too. The witchcrafts, when the witches be supporting them, and the warlocks too, when they be doing them rituals on people, they eliminate they, they draw yeah, them. They do draw. You know? And the shamans always got tattoos. And I always shit. thought them tattoos or something else on the people that same shit that the witches be drawing on motherfuckers. Well, some fucking symbols and shit these people got, man. They don't even know what they mean. Yeah, that, that shit carry a vibration. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck they put in tribal symbols. Mm -hmm. Plus a lot of the tattoo artists are just some weird shit. Weird shit, yeah, 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 yeah. There's some huge tattoo shit going on this weekend. Man, this tattooing is so popular right now, man. I just it's huge. That shit make me want to fucking cry, man. Like, you know, I got I got you know friends of the world who got fucking tattoos and shit. It's like, and it they just can't understand it. They think it's normal and it's cool. You know. When you show them the actual scripture, though. Yeah. That's where they get fucked up, man. But, hey, if you do got tattoos, you can still come into the truth. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? It's right. not, I mean, once you, I mean, right. Right. nothing to be ashamed of. I mean. Everybody fucked up. You are, I, trust me, I done did right. some shit. We all fucked up. I done did some you fucked know. up shit, too, man. The only difference is two-thirds and one-third. One-third might have a, two, a tattoo, but they know not to go get some more. Or some might even actually go get that tattoo removed. Two thirds to go get another one, and then another one. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, hey, once you're in this truth, you should know better to get tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. You get them removed. How do they do that? Um, and nowadays, they got whole sleeves. And a lot of that tattoo y'all ink y'all using, man, y'all don't be researching your tattoo ink. I've done research on it, and a lot of tattoo ink is made out of. Uh, Made out of uh, toxic poisons, made out of, made out of petroleum, plastic. They got plastic in the ink, and you wonder why your t shit's getting infected and scabbing up real bad. No matter how much you uh, lubricate it, it's because that fucking that garbage ass ink you're sticking in your body. Oh, she be at that church. Hey, yeah. She's whack. Here we go. Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47. Is this page on him? Or is he just Good. holding him? Sure. Like, damn, is he just holding these things? I didn't see it. Oh, shit. 
Actually, I'm getting that lost so much weight, I gotta go buy all new clothes. And them motherfuckers be having children. <laughs> For real. I was looking at a nigga and his girl and his child today, man, at the store. Whoa. Whoa. What do they do at night? Isaiah 47 and 1. Come down and sit in the dust. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon. Oh, did you read this? Wait, we need to read it again if you did. I can't, I don't think you did. Nah, that's good. Oh, that was Revelation. Right that's Isaiah 47, right? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the virgin daughter of Babylon, what does that mean? What does a virgin mean? That it means the pussy ain't been popped yet. Good so much. when you really look at it, America has never been, as the United States of America has never been attacked or really invaded on our own soil by another country before. Right? The only that's battle. Right. That's right. The Civil, Civil War. That was it. But that was us against, not us. Really. a long time ago. Actually, it was us. They was fucking using the Israelites to fight Israelites while Osiris. Esau left. Osiris. They even had whole Judite regiments. Plus, most of the soldiers, they, uh, it was Irishmen. Irishmen would get off the ship. They show you that in that movie, Gangs in New York. As soon as the Irish would get off the ship, they'd sign them up, get them, sign the papers, give them a rifle, and send them off to battle. Straight to battle. <laughs> Oh yeah, the yeah, Buffalo, Buffalo Soldiers. soldiers. Yeah, Buffalo soldiers. Yeah, yeah. Like that movie, you seen that movie Glory? They was all fighting, like, ooh, gotta hold this flag up. Gotta, what the fuck are you? You know what I mean? Well, it's going all around your ass. Gotta hold that flag up. Gotta hold that, we got damn flag up. We got damn fucking flag. <laughs> well, the reason they kept the flag up, though, is so the general could see it from with his binoculars. Hold the fucking but, flag. But, it's just, man. And then, yeah, fuck some Memorial Day. Y'all trying to celebrate some troops on Memorial Day. You know, in World War II, you know, the so-called black people weren't even allowed to fight in the war. This is a good thing, actually. But then at the same time, they was poisoning the hell out of Tuskegee Airmen. What's that freeway? Is that 104? Is the Tuskegee Airmen freeway you see that? Dedicated to the Tuskegee Airmen? I'm thinking it was 104. But yeah, they were, what did they inject him with syphilis, didn't they? Yeah, syphilis. And y'all so, celebrate. It's a strategic experiment. And y'all, yeah, and y'all fucking praising the goddamn military. The military, oh, when I was in the military, they were shooting. They shot me up with fucking anthrax. You know what that is, right? Hell yeah. And that, they, 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 it's, it's banned now. They was experimenting on us with this fucking experimental anthrax vaccination. One of my best friends from South Boston, he got fucked up. I guess today he's got killer migraines. Fuck, you know what I mean? Luckily, maybe he didn't mess me up. I don't know. You know, some hit people fast. Yeah. Things, you know? But they was hit with hit us with that anthrax. Some dudes refused it. And they, guess what happened when they refused it? Right. They got sent to the brig. Right. They got locked up. Right. A lot of that shit they doing for years. Man. So I was in the military. Ooh, I was in the military. I could say fuck the military. That's it, it was madness. Some, it was some faggot shit. That's fucking madness. Man. Madness. Experimenting on us, bro. You should sign on paper. You belong to them. You belong to them. <laughs> That's why they call us <laughs> civilians. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're civilians. I ain't got no love for that shit, man. They treated me What's like. Tissue? Nah, I was just fucking. Got a bigger book on your finger. Do I? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I just thought something flew in my nose. Bring a tissue in my nose. All right. Every time I get downtown, my fucking sinuses be acting up. With all these plants and shit. Right. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt be, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind mill and uncover thy locks. And it said, daughter of the Chaldeans. Real quick, I can prove, prove with the scriptures that Esau is known as the daughter of Babylon. Or the, the Chaldeans are Babylon. Those are the magicians and shit of Babylon. But I'm going to get this scripture real quick. What is that? One, Psalms 137? Real quick, I'm gonna try to get it quick. Psalms 137, uh, verse, what is that? Seven. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. So that's Esau. That's what we've been telling y'all as a so called white man. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Excuse me. O daughter of Babylon, that's talking to Esau. That's clearly talking to Edom. So Esau is called the daughter of Babylon. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. 
I know he's my favorite scripture back in the day. Nah, I hate when I see them little eat my little bounces. He's gonna punt them. Mm. You wanna kick them. Mm. And they look at you like, what is that? You just wanna hit up right. Poop! Damn right. Look eat my favorite. But that proves that, uh, that Isaiah, the daughter of Chaldeans, that's talking about America. That's right. Because America, this is really the nation of Edom. Take the millstone and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. That means so bitch about get raped. She, like, get, she covering up, we doing that right now. You know, yeah. we uncovering the thigh, and the rest of the world sees all this country's wickedness they doing. The whole world's coming against the United States. <laughs> all, all their wickedness is being exposed, man. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea. Thy shame shall be seen. And we, we, we helping expose the shame too. We exposing all this wickedness. Making all these videos, that's part of it. Cause you know too, we got, we got fucking, we got, uh, what's the word, damn, government officials and politicians from around the world watching our videos. You know politicians, what kind of videos do you think they're watching? That they stay up on uh, politics, obviously. That's their job. So that's what we talk about, too. So they're watching our videos. Our videos Real pop current. up in the suggestions. Real yeah, so we probably got kings watching our videos. Don't think twice. The elite is watching our videos. They're not watching reality. Yeah, they're not watching. The, yeah, the Rothschilds do not watch World Star Hip Hop. They don't want sports, man. Yeah, they ain't, that's a waste, really a waste of time. Yeah, they don't I want to tell you the book of that book. Um, that book, uh, Go to Hill Horse House. Sports is given to us so we can divide, be divided against each other. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Get divided against each other over some bullshit. Yep. Yep. I like to watch That's them from time to time because I, right, I like the athleticism. Right. Of course. You know? Of course. Because, you know, that's just fun. Yeah. It, help, it makes me want to stay in shape a little bit. I don't want to be a fat piece of shit, you know? Stupid shit. It's Hell stupid no. to them. It really is. It's stupid to them. It really is foolish. Think royalty. These people can't think royalty. Like we're thinking royalty, man. We need fucking slaves, man. We need concubines. <laughs> yeah, that sports really put people in a daze, man. Mm -hmm. that's, all, that's my sport. That's my sport I want to play. It's just who can pop the most bitches, you know? Hey. <laughs> shit. And Will Chamberlain. Who can, who can go through the many, as, well, lawfully, though, or wives. Yeah, 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 I'll just who say. Go through the many wives. Yeah, but Will was trying fucking many He is fucking wives. everybody, He's yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. he was a wicked yeah. bastard. No, he, he looks like a wicked motherfucker, man. This whole countenance seems evil. I never liked that motherfucker anyway. <laughs> Shit. Never liked him, man. Um, where was I at? Um, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will Ooh. take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Yes, yeah, so the all. Oh. Real quick, that disproves that Heli Selassie bullshit. Saying the Lord came back as a man in the form of Heli Selassie. And the Lord coming back, he coming back in his full a celestial power. He coming back shining. Hell, I mean, you don't even know what. The Lord going to come back looking, looking angelic, you know what I mean? Right. Beautiful. He might be, he's gonna be beautiful. Man. You don't know. He might. Be. He's coming back in the same form he left. Yeah, yeah. The holes in him and everything. So we can all mourn, man. We're together, man. But he's gonna come out of them ships. He's coming yeah. out of the sky. I had his hands. <laughs> piss the fuck off, man. Fuck, piss the fuck off like you're supposed to be. And he ain't gonna be a. Uh, he ain't gonna be a. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Simple ass niggas can't. Don't even wanna be mad, man. They say, man, the bitches tell the nigga that you know it's if you 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 spend more energy, your body works harder if you're angry, Amen. and it spends less energy, and your muscles don't work as hard to be happy. And they tell the nigga that, man, like I can't be dealing with no angry man. What? Yeah. I lift way more weights when I'm angry. Is that crazy, man? Yeah. Damn well, right. Dude, when I'm in a, like a good or relaxed mood. I feel like I can't do but like five or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> if I could do five or one thing, but I'm mad as fuck, I might do 15. So you're doing Shit, type of sports, your coach gonna tell you, get angry. Yeah, get mad. Gonna, get you get mad, mad and you're gonna, you're gonna get, get job mad. Done. Damn right. Get mad, motherfucker, or run some fucking laps. Hey, that's the thing too about smoking weed, man. Weed makes you relax and takes the it's anger out of you. It takes the anger out of you. You know? I see a lot of guys that smoke. I smoked a hell of weed, so I know I can speak from first hand experience. That shit makes you, it makes you, uh, makes you soft. It's good to be angry. Cause you get angry, I know when you be angry as hell, you be wanting to make all kind of videos. 
you mad as fuck, you know? That's what the flower is, you know, that weed they were smoking right now. Stuff. It was so much love. Yeah, too much. That's too much love. Why? <laughs> too much love. If they was fucking Fake everything. Love, false love and shit. That was some false. Love. Yeah. All the motherfuckers back in Woodstock, where they at now? In the world. They a bunch of bitches. In the world, hating each other. You yeah. Know, hating each other, and it came back to reality. The reality set back in. Ain't none of them fucking on that free love shit yeah. no more. So what the fuck is wrong with these people? Don't want to be angry, man. Y'all ain't got no more reason to be fucking mad, man. Yo, the world. You already know we mad as fuck. So Ma can you not be I gotta out, watch. Man? I'm so mad. I gotta watch my anger, cause uh, I be somewhere to snap on people for the smallest of things. Small shit. Man. <laughs> <laughs> These asses born in 18. For much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. You start to see things. Your eyes is open. You start to see things. And then we uh, repeat basic yes. facts. Oh, look, look. Go ahead, go ahead. like I was just telling somebody about how the fluoride uh, and the toothpaste in the water that causes brain damage. You know, Harvard University came out with a study. It said that, uh, that the children that consume fluoride, their IQs, uh, it reduces their IQ by at least seven points on average if you ingest fluoride. And, but I try to tell people that, like, no, you're stupid. You, you're just. You're, you're, you're messing up your children's teeth. These yeah. people are so dumb. Why you come with them with facts? So that shit just makes you angry. What did I say? More knowledge becomes much sorrow. Is that what it says? Yeah. So all this knowledge you get, bro, you get sorrowful because you got this knowledge and you teach people and they laugh at you. You know what I mean? They giggle. Hi, that's bullshit. You just want to punch them right in their face. You know? I'm gaining all this knowledge, man. Shit, man. I mean, you really, you you start seeing every fucking thing as it really is. Yeah. It do become depressing, and you be you do get down, like you like. Get down. Damn, it's no hope. There that's, is no hope. There be no hope. <laughs> that's what it looks like. That's what you pray to the yep. Lord. It we does. know the only hope is the Lord. It's the Lord. That's right. the only hope. That's right. That's there ain't right. nothing else we can do. That's we ain't right. got no fucking power to do a goddamn thing. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's uh, Sirach 21, uh, 21, 20, Sirach. A fool lifted up his voice from laughter, but a wise man does scarce smile a little. Yeah, that's why people are, why y'all so angry? <laughs> fucking polluted ass air, polluted rivers. They chopping down fucking forests. Y'all this shit ain't pouring concrete, making unnatural deserts. <laughs> this right here, Columbus, Ohio is a fucking desert. All the, every major city is a man-made desert. You gonna take chop down a forest and pour goddamn concrete everywhere? I mean, how stupid is that? They gonna turn up if it was if the Lord don't ever come back, the whole world will be turned into a barren wasteland. That's how we, we know the Lord's real. He gonna come back and destroy these devils. Yeah, I watched uh, first lady, this bitch, she was like in the car for two children, and they like stopped somewhere. She's like, look at nature. And they both looking down on the phone like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't give a fuck about nature no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, these days, I gotta be out in this, around the tree, yeah. flowers, 